Hey, how you doing? This is Kitch, and you are watching me play Crusader Kings 2 Holy Fury. Map looks so peaceful and nice from way up here. Uh, zooming in a little bit, um, it starts to get a little messy. You can see some troops and stuff all around. We're getting raided all the time by these folks up here. Uh, not too happy about that. Where, where are you from? You're this, this little single count guy right here? Yeah. Well, hopefully... Uh, Hopefully you'll be taken care of soon. Some of my vassals I noticed earlier were were, were taking their job a little bit seriously. They were uh, going out and where's my king? Here he is right here. What are you doing? You're defending. Um, okay, I take that back. Uh, what are you doing over here? Okay, your war is over as well. <laughs> there were a couple of wars there um, that they actually resolved. I assume they're expanding. Um... The religions reformed. Uh, great holy wars, I think, are going to be off the table. Um, I'm not quite sure how that works with the random worlds. Um, I know they're not available until cre crusades and jihads are unlocked. Um, I'm assuming that some religion here can can unlock those. Uh, but you know, I like tried. You know, I'm like over here. Can we declare it on you? No, we can't. We just have the regular uh, holy war. But you know, I mean, that's respectable. Holy Wars are for a full duchy. So that is definitely something serious. Uh, however, a great Holy War is for a whole kingdom. So just looking at this young lady's kingdom over here, we could take like all that land. Great Holy War, all that land. Or um, some of these larger kingdoms, like this guy right here. Uh, he, his borders are pretty much intact. We could grab all of that. Uh, however, I don't have that CB available. Um, I don't against you, do I? Nope, just Holy Wars and Conquest. Um, so we won't be doing that. Um, however, I did notice that we have a claim here. It's technically not my claim. It's one of my vassal's claims. But he's got it, and it's on the kingdom. So I think that would be a worthy use of our time. I think we'll go ahead and do that. I'm curious how much threat is going to raise because of that. I'm sure it's going to be a lot. Uh, but that's... That's going to happen. That's going to be just fine. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and... Uh, can I just call you in? I can. Um, you say maybe. Uh, you're involved in a war, so you actually may not join. Oh, yeah. Ransom off some prisoners. Yes. We needed to do that. Um, are you going to join? Oh, of course. I, I saw it up there in the upper right-hand corner. All right. He's going to join. Um, they did that thing where they're going to attack our capital. That is uh, their mistake. Um, can we join these together without... Yes, we can. All right. Uh, we'll go ahead and get troops and stuff. We'll raise up some boats. And uh, my wife's pregnant. Excellent. Excellent. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and bring these troops in. And there was a trick you could do whenever they got really close. There we go. Uh, we should be able to raise the troops here. All right, and that gives us automatically a lot more troops. Uh, we should be able to take that out. Uh, you are, uh, he's viciously slandering me. Uh, well, we're... We're trying to take over land for him right now. It's a very, very bad time. Um, all right. Yep. All right. We'll leave you guys here to just kind of deal with those guys and increase war score that way. Are you sending troops over there? You look like you've got your own things going on right now. So um, let's see. Let's go ahead and uh, let's see. Can we raise all the boats from here? We can, right? 75 boats. That's actually not going to be enough boats. Um, interesting. All right. Uh, let's see if we can reform you to where... Okay, that will actually work. So, yeah, you guys head on down there and help them out. Um, okay, victory there. We got this guy. Probably worth more money. We've got, like, a ludicrous amount of money right now. Alright, 
75 boats should be enough for 7,400 troops. And let's get over there and start taking over some land. And I'm going to go ahead and drop these boats because they will be very expensive. And do I have the Raider flag toggled? I can do. I can toggle that. Okay, yeah. You just have to be in friendly territory to turn it on. You can turn it off whenever. Uh, no. Not being in friendly lands. All right. Not being in friendly lands. Um, that's bad. Uh, let's, yeah, go ahead and take that way. And, uh, boy, some more troops are coming down here, huh? Um, can I take you guys anywhere? Can I take you, like, way over there? Uh, according to me, my wife is feeling somewhat gloomy as of late. I'll buy her something nice. Yeah, can you guys, like, go... Try going right there. See if that will, uh... Make it where you can go down. Uh, nope. Huh. Well, why don't you guys head on home? And, uh, we'll try to do it from there. And you guys are literally in a port. Huh. Not being in a friendly port. I have no idea what that means. Didn't we just ransom you? All right, I'll take some more of your money. Maybe he's just wearing the same clothes. Okay, got a vassal expanding his land. And I have a son, fantastic. And he is in pretty good shape. Let's go ahead and send him down the struggle route. We have a hundred percent war score here. Um, yeah, I guess I guess we should just go ahead and take it. All right, that'll transfer that land over to him, and that becomes part of our territory now. What did that do to our threat? Now that was a a good claim by a king on a land that is part of our de jure empire. 30%. This is why I don't particularly care for the threat system. I mean, you know, like a conquest, holy war, things like that. I can totally see that occurring. But, uh, I mean... He had a claim on it. It's part of our du jour empire. Why does that go up to 30% threat? I mean, everybody should have been expecting that. Boy, there's... Oh, it's everybody joining in a pact against me. Uh, Walls of Rizion. Way over there. Yeah, I don't, don't really want to do that. What I want to do is get rid of these boats. There we go, because we're down, what, 300 gold because of that? Insanity. Uh, foul old Genghist heresy is spreading like wildfire in Benevento. Head of Genghist face? I'm a, yeah, yeah. Uh, send in the Inquisition. Yes. That stuff. Toggle the Raider flag there and get those guys together. Um, you are losing a lot of wars. I think a lot of those wars are actually against my vassals. <laughs> They're trying to take over your land. I'm tempted to just let them. Um, what's this right here? Are you independent? You're fighting a war. Okay, he's trying to revoke something from you. Are you winning that war? I did not look.
you're fighting against them for some reason. No idea why. Uh, you are defending against him. Okay, and that war... 7%. That's not very interesting. Um, let's see. Are you in a defensive pact against me? You are... Got a lot of buddies involved in it. Boy, I would like to like to take over your land. What can I get there? That's a pretty big chunk right there, if I'm honest. Uh, are you are you a nomad? You're tribal, okay. That's good news. Um, Got to attack somebody. I would actually like to get some people that are in the same defensive pact. Yeah, that's against me. I, I, I agree. Uh, Chief, how do I see who else is in your pact? If I click on it, that's just going to go to me. Um, Lardereth, that's your religion, right? No. Is it a cultural thing? No. All right, but it does have a name. Okay, so you're in it. You're not in it. That's a different guy. Uh, you're part of a revolt. What's your story here? Well, that's a completely different one. And you're not in it. I have a feeling, though, as soon as I join it, uh, or as soon as I attack you, that, that story is going to change relatively quickly. Um, hmm. Well, we just can't not war anybody. That doesn't make any sense. Um, are you involved in any defensive packs? You have defensive packs against you. What do you look like? You seem like a, a, a formidable foe. You have event spawn troops? Did I see that? 8,000 of them. I wonder what that's about. Huh. Don't know. Are you currently involved in any wars? No. You have a lot of hostility. Um, I like this. I like this. Uh, maybe we try this out. Holy War for something. Yeah, Constantinople. The 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 Constantinople area. That's a that's a good chunk of land there. Yeah, let's uh let's let's go out let's go all out on this. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and raise up our army levies. We are going to call in all of our vassals. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's 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 get a big war going on. Get you all going right there. Should be a fairly evenly matched war. I, I say that. We have more troops. And uh, we're going to have more of an advantage here just because we are not a computer. Oh, they're going to do that thing where they go right for my capital, aren't they? Speaking of computers. Uh, let's go down there. If you are mine, you've taken, you've taken the kingdom. So is all this mine now? Oh wow, that's uh, that's good. That's very good. You are old Gankist. Um, let's see, can we put you anywhere on the council? 
What would you be good at? You would be good at marshalling, provided our marshal is decent. And he is. You know what? I bet... Okay, no. My brother's already on the council. Uh, let's set you... Uh, brother, what are you good at? You're not really good at anything. Alright, let's set you... To... The... Oh, we have an advisor position. Is that true? I've changed my mind. Um, do we have a do we have a uh, advisor position? Uh, I don't see it. Okay, so that was a false thing in there. All right, let's let's do this. Yeah, see, advisor, it's right there. Um, you should be my spy master, and uh, we'll appoint you as the marshal. That will make you happy. Uh, and we can demand your religious conversion, and I can't do that because I'm not at peace. All right, forgot about that. All right, you guys get down there. Actually, go to there. And we'll leave this big stack here to take on Constantinople. Fantastic. He decided to become feudal? Um, all right. Where's that? Oh, that's some guy down there. I don't care about that. Uh, the tribes of blah, blah, blah have converted to some faith in the Empress uh, Rachel, which they have converted the entire population on the side of the vassals. Is that, is that interesting? Ah, okay, it was a, uh, it was a heresy blip thing. Oh, it's a raider. Can we toggle those off, I wonder? Just the raider things. Is he beating me? He is. Interesting, with the crossing and everything. Wow. Okay. All right, we're gonna turn it around right there, it looks like. Ugh. Yeah, whatever. Done sick. Okay, we're in the middle of a war. Right. Popping up stuff. Oh, maybe I need to just turn the speed down. One girl was sacrificed. Okay. Sure that has to do with all that raiding stuff going on up there. Stuff that I couldn't be any less concerned about. We lost a council member. Uh, court chaplain. Yeah, those those tend to happen. Um, okay, we can take um we can take women in this position now, which is good. That'll be that'll be great. That uh just increased our number of potential um uh, chancellors by a lot very quickly. We are at negative 17% war score because of all those shenanigans and goings on. Uh, our allies are taking down that area over there. He's an apostate. Uh, let it go. Lose 10 piety.
I just I just set her up, didn't I? Isn't that the one I just put into position? Yeah. Um go free. Finding apostates as soon as I put them there. Another son in the line. Um, it says we need successor nominations. Um, I would like that to go. Who were? Uh... Oh, boy, that hurt right there. She got like all my family. Interesting, interesting indeed. All right, well, we're going for her capital. Uh, we'll get the siege down, and then we'll take care of that. That will not stand. If you want to siege my family, I'll siege yours more. And I'll take out your big army there, too. We got this yet? All right, we're close. All right, we're just gonna outrun the attrition here. We should be able to. Uh, we got good commanders here. Uh, you're only a 14. Uh, you are a battlefield terrain master and a flanker. I would like you to be over there. Um, you are a heavy infantry leader. You are also a flanker and a rough terrain expert. Flanking plus 20%. The marshal score. Ah, uh, we'll go with the we'll go with the marshal. That's going to be a battle right there. That is going to flip some more scourge, provided we can pull it out. All right, we did. All right, actually, it wasn't nearly as much as I thought it would be. Um, that's rather quite disappointing. Oh, well, if we can get her capital siege down, it'll make me much happier about things just, just in general. There we go. And there we go. I've got some of your family now. Well, just at least one little girl. I'll take it. Um, where are we at now? 20% war score. Did we get our capital siege back? We did. Boy, those initial battles just really, really hurt, didn't they? Oh, it's all my family. Um, can I ransom those? Um, there's only certain ones that are actually Wernkey, Radkey, Rheinburn, and Petros. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> and no. <laughs> All right, we'll do this the old fashioned way. Okay, I'm gonna start vomiting. We're gonna lose this. Pull it out, pull it out, you can do it. You can do it. Did not work. All right, but really we didn't lose that much war score from it. So I'm not going to complain too much. All right, if we just stay still, we should get the advantage. Our we have more troops. We'll have the positional advantage. We'll have a little bit more morale. And this one should go the other way.
Superior numbers, superior effort. That did it right there. And I'm just going to chase him down because that's what needs to occur. All right, we've got a lot of troops over here. We'll head them in that general direction. And uh, we'll see if we can't get this figured out. I'm going to chase down his army, just or her army, I should say, just a little bit. And we can probably get it to where we'll be on the way where we can take out this peasant revolt. King Gregarious, did I get stressed too? I did not. Very, very good. Got our heretics taken care of. All right, let's go run down here real quick and take out this peasant revolt. We've got another little squad coming in there. All right, maybe we won't. 100 men. That's enough to take down the capital. Um... Yeah, we'll be friends with you. Fine. Um, take 600 men, 800 men, whatever. Take them that way. Take you guys over here. We won that battle there. The main bulk of the force is over there. So we'll take them on... Super annoying place to have a peasant revolt. Actually, rather take you up this way because oh, okay, we're not gonna we're not gonna cross that straight. They are getting attrition there for some reason. Come in and help our allies out here. Big win there. Uh, what are we fighting? Oh, nothing. Okay. Go ahead and siege that down. Just so we get the full area that we're... The, all the siege targets are now taken care of. There's some additional troops down here we can send in. Let's just send you across. Uh, do you have any other land over here, young lady? Don't. Where is your land at? Uh, that's your land down there. Go down there. Send you across to go ahead and crush. I thought I told you to go that way. Okay, I guess you did. Never mind, you're doing it right. That's a pretty big wipe of uh, your troops there. I just sit on some of these and uh, watch the war score tick up. <laughs> They're going to take that with 70 troops. What are you doing there, ally? Be an ally, would you? I have to walk all the way over there to take on 70 troops. Kind of silliness is that uh, i'm gonna leave you guys over there i believe <laughs> musical airs going on brings us up to 93 percent probably just siege that down 100 percent 
There we go. Fantastic. Offer peace. Enforce demands. All right. Hopefully, that will let my people go. Yeah, I think that was... Yeah, my son. Okay, yeah, that let everybody out. Fantastic. Let's just take a look. Um, my dynasty. Yeah, okay. Everybody's out of prison now. Fantastic. Um, all right, and let's take a look at ours. Wow, we have a lot of prisoners now. Um, let's see. Were, one, were those related to you in some way? Hmm. No. Doesn't look like it. Unfortunate. Um, alright. So, I guess we just, uh, just press the, uh, 196 gold button. Oh, let's see. I think we can take you guys up there. Take you guys over there. Uh, we got a lot of extra land. We've got, uh, three extra lands. Uh, my sister died. That's sad. She had a funny looking face anyway. Um, okay, so that's all the land that I took. Um, let's see, we want to go ahead. Nope. Um, that one's got a trade port. I think I actually want to keep that. Uh, so, let's see. Let's go ahead and give that to you. Uh, that is going to be Thrake. And Constantinople. Um, I'm going to keep this, but... Uh, why can't I remember the button? No. Create new vassal. There we go. Right there. That gets rid of that. That straightens all of that out. And that gives us 7 out of 7 for our domain limit and makes everything look a lot better. Why are you a different king? Why are you a different king? I don't like that. You are a different king. Where... Why are you a different king? Why can I not declare war against you? Did I push some weird button? Hmm, 62% threat. Oh, it's because our armies, our, our levies are raised. All right, because um, that won't do. That will not do at all. Huh. I guess that's why you don't click through all those things. That's why. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Well, uh, that was our first very successful Holy War. That brings our moral authority up to 66. The Gankas are are serious. Uh, we are, are very, very serious. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. See you next time.